Hi guys, good day. It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today class, it's all about tricky examples of arithmetic series. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So this is quite tricky class since we don't have the value of our first term and our common difference and we are told to find the sum. Now before we answer these numbers 1 and 2, we need to know first what would be the formula of arithmetic series. So the, we do have two formulas because the first formula, there will be S of N or the sum equals to n is the number of terms divided by 2, quantity the first term added by the last term. And the second formula, that will be s of n or the sum, equals n divided by 2, bracket 2 times the first term, added by quantity n minus 1 times the common difference. So the difference between these two formula class, you will use this formula if you have the value of our last term. Now you can use the formula, the second formula, if we have the first term and the common difference. If you don't have the last term and you have the first term, the number of terms and the common difference, you will be using this formula. Alright, so let's try number one. Of course, if there's a problem class, the thing that you need to do is you need to understand the problem. Now, once you understand the problem, you will write down the given. Alright, so the given, we have the sum of the first 10 terms of the arithmetic sequence is 530. So the sum... Alright, so S sub N, or the sum, this equals to 530. We can actually put S sub 10 class. S sub 10, because it says the sum of the first 10 terms. So the sum of the first 10 terms, that's 530. Alright, so what else class? We have, the what is the first term if the last term is 80? So we have the last term, A sub N. Or we can write that as A sub 10, that would be 80. Alright, so the sum of the first 10 terms of arithmetic sequence is 530, so we have the sum. What is the first term if the last term is 80? And we also have n class, because n is the number of terms, and it says the sum of the first 10 terms. And our n is 10, sum of the first 10 terms. Alright, and what is s? So you write what is s, what is s, what is the first term? So you are told to find the first term. And what is the common difference and the common difference? Alright, so let's check this formula. We can use this one to find the first term. So S of N equals N divided by 2. Quantity, the first term added by the last term. Alright, so check. Do we have the sum? Yep, we have the sum. So if you only have one unknown class in this particular equation, therefore we can use this formula. Do we have n, the number of terms? Yep, we have the number of terms. First term? Nope, we don't have the first term. That's the thing that we're looking to find, the first term and the common difference. Do we have a sub n, the last term? Yep, we have the last term. So therefore, we can use this formula since we, are, we only have one unknown, which is the first term. So we can find the first term using this formula. Alright, substitute the value of s sub n, that would be 530. Alright, s sub n, that would be s sub 10. That's 530. N is the number of terms. That would be 10 divided by 2. And our first term, we don't have the first term. Simply copy the first term. And the last term is 80. So plus 80. Alright, and then next, you can simplify this one. 10 divided by 2. So this will be 530 equals 10 divided by, divided by 2. That would be 5. Quantity A sub 1 plus 80. Alright, so next step, simply copy 530 equals, you distribute this one class, 5 times a sub 1 and 5 times 80. Once again, you cannot add this 80 and the first term because 80 doesn't contain any variable. So, once again, distribute 5 times a sub 1, then 5 times 80. You distribute class. So, 5 times a sub 1, that would be 5a sub 1. 5 times 80, that would be positive 400. Alright, so to get the value of a sub 1, you can subtract by 400 both sides, subtraction property of equality. So to isolate a sub 1, so you can subtract both sides by 400, and you can cancel this out. Or you can just simply, because there are some students class, they are, be, they are so confused with this properties of equality. So the thing that you will do, we just need to, trans, we can just simply transpose 400, from right to left. Now, once we transpose an equation, you always change the sign. So, this will be 530. This is positive 400. It will be negative 400. 
equals 5a sub 1. So subtract 530 minus 400, that is 130, equals 5a sub 1. So to get the value of a sub 1, you divide both sides by 5. Alright, so this will be 130 equals 5a sub 1. To get the value of a sub 1, you divide both sides by 5 so that we can cancel this 5. And the, remain, the answer will be, let's divide plus 130, divide 5, this will be 2, 2 times 5 is 10, subtract 13, 13 minus 10 is 3, bring down 0, 30 divided by 5 is 6, 6 times 5 is 30, subtract that is 0. So 26 class. Alright, so our a sub 1 is 26. 26 equals a sub 1. You can actually write that as a sub 1 equals 26. That's the same answer class. Okay, once again, this is just the same. Alright, so our a sub 1 is 26. Alright, so now we can find the common difference. So you pause the video class because I will be, I will be erasing this one. Now, to get the common difference class, is you can just simply use the arithmetic sequence formula. Why is that, sir? Because the arithmetic sequence in the arithmetic series, there is, there's actually a relationship between the two. Because in the arithmetic series class, their common difference for the arithmetic sequence is just the same. So therefore, we can find the common difference using the arithmetic sequence formula. So that would be a sub n equals the first term plus n minus 1 times the common difference. So we already have the last term, a sub n, which is 80. So this will be 80 equals the first term is 26. Plus n is the number of terms. We have 10 minus 1 times d. So this will be 80 equals 26 plus 10 times 10 minus 1 is 9 times d. So once again, this will be 80 equals, once again, do not add this one plus. So, multiply this one first, 9 and D. So, this will be 26 plus 9D. Alright, so to get the value of 9D, you transpose 26 from right to left. So, the remaining equation on the right side will be only 9D. So, transpose this 26 from right to left. This will be 80 minus 26 equals 9D. So, to get the value of 9D, you subtract this one first. So this will be 80 minus 26. So 0 minus 6, that cannot be. You borrow 1. This will be 10. 10 minus 6 is 4. 7 minus 2 is 5. 54 equals 90. Alright, so to get the value of D, you need to divide both sides by 9. So divide both sides by 9. Divide both sides by 9 to cancel this out. And our D, 6 is equals to D. Or our D is equals to 6. That would be the same plus. So our common difference is equals to 6. Alright, so that's how you answer number 1 class. So let's try number 2. So you pause the video. I will be erasing this one. Alright, so of course we need to write the given for number 2. Alright, number 2. The third term of the arithmetic sequence is negative 12 and the seventh term is 8. What is the sum of the first 10 terms? So let's write first the given. So given we have third term negative 12. So third term, I will just put third class. So third term will equal equals to negative 12 and the seventh term is 8. So seventh term, I will just put seven is 8. So this is 7th term and 3rd term is negative 12, 7th term is 8. So let's check class if we can find, okay, if we can find the sum using this formula. So check, let's check this one. So S sub n equals n divided by 2, 1st term and the last term. Do we have the sum? Nope, we don't have the sum. Do we have n? What is the sum of the 1st term terms? So therefore our n is 10. Because it says 10 terms. So we can have, we have our n, which is 10 terms. Now, for the first term, do we have the first term? Nope, we don't have the first term. And a sub n, the last term? Nope, we don't have the last term. We only have the third term and the seventh term. So therefore, we cannot use this formula. Same with this one class. You don't have the sum. 
you have n which is 10, what is the sum of the first 10 terms, but you don't have the first term. So you don't have the sum, the first term, and you also you don't have the common difference. So three unknowns you cannot solve for that one class. Alright, so the thing that we will do, class, is we need to make adjustments. Alright, you focus this one, we'll be answering this one step by step. So the thing that you will do, you need to write the number of terms. So we have 10 terms. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So once again, our third term is negative 12. And our seventh term is 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So our seventh term is 8. And we don't have the first term. We don't have the last term. So it's hard for us to find the sum. So the thing that you will do, class, is we need to make adjustments. We need to find the common difference. So this is the thing that you will do. But this is quite tricky. So the thing that you will do, you find the common difference. How to find the common difference? We can use this formula, class. A sub n equals the first term plus n minus 1 times the common difference. Now, sir, you don't have the last term as well as you don't have the first term. So the thing that you will do, class, you need to make adjustments. So we will be assuming, okay, let's assume that this negative 12 will be our first term and this 8 will be our last term. So that's the thing that you will do, class. You need to make adjustments. Okay, this negative 12, you assume this one to be your first term and this 8 will be your last term. But the number of terms will not be 10. It, it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 terms. Okay? So that's the thing you will do. Just to get the common difference, this negative 12, you assume this one to be your first term. And this 8 will be your last term. And the number of terms, just count how many number of terms from negative 12 to positive 8. From the third term to the seventh term. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Alright, so our a sub n, it will be 8, our last term, given this one class. So you, ne you neglect this one class, the first term and second term, the 8th term, ninth term, and 10th term. So you just need to focus on this terms class. Negative 12 to positive 8. So your last term will be 8, and your first term will be negative 12, plus your n class, it's not 10, from negative 12 up to 8. So you make adjustments. This will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This will be 5 minus 1 times the common difference. So that's the thing that you will do, class, just to get the common difference. You make adjustments. So this will be 8 equals negative 12 plus 5 minus 1, that's 4, times D. Okay, so this will be 8 equals negative 12, then 4 times D, that will be 4D. So to get the value of D, you transpose 12, negative 12 from right to left. Of course, it will change the sign. So this is negative 12, it will be positive 12. So this will be 8 plus 12 equals 4D. And 8 plus 12, that would be 20. So 20 equals 4D. So to get the value of D, so 20 equals 4D. To get the value of D, you divide both sides by 4. So that you can cancel this 4. And the remaining will be D. So cancel this out. So 20 divided by 4, that is 5 equals D, or D equals 5. That's the same class. So our common difference is 5. Alright, so the common difference class is 5. So I will just put it here. Our common difference is 5. Now, okay, you pause the video class because I will be erasing this one. We will be finding the first term and the last term. So once again... Once you get the common difference, you can find the first term and the last term manually, easily. So how to do that one, sir? Okay, let me explain this one. So let you pause the video because I will be erasing this one. Alright, so let's try an example class. 5, 8, 11. And the teacher will ask you to find the next number after 11. Of course, you need to get the common difference, right? To get the common difference... Simply subtract the second term by the first term, 8 minus 5, that is 3. And you also check third term minus the second term, 11 minus 8 is 3. If they have the same answer, therefore the common difference is 3. So the common difference is 3. So 8 minus 3 is 5, 11 minus 3 is 5. Now check this one class. If you see the pattern, if, you do, if you're going to the right, 5 plus 3 is 8, 
8 plus 3 is 11. Therefore, the common difference is 3. So we can say that 11 plus 3 is 14. 14 plus 3, that would be 17, right? 17 minus 3 is 14. 14 minus 3 is 11. 11 minus 3 is 8. 8 minus 3 is 5. Therefore, the previous number, okay, before 5, 5 minus 3, that would be 2. I hope you get this one class. So therefore, if we have 8 here, and we already have the common difference, which is 5, therefore, we can just simply find the next number, okay, after 8, or the 8 term. Just simply add, just simply add 8 by 5, right? 8 plus 5, that would be 13. So therefore, this will be 13. And 13 plus 5, by the common difference, 5. 13 plus 5, that would be 18. And 18 plus 5, that is 23. Same with the scenario class. I hope you get this one. Okay, so therefore, we already have the 10th term, which is 23. So once you get the common difference, you can just simply add it class. Going to the right. Now, going to the left, okay, going to the previous terms, you subtract it by the common difference. Check the pattern class. 8 minus 3 is 5. 5 minus 3 is 2. So 2 minus 3, this will be negative 1. 2 minus 3 is negative 1. Alright, so therefore, to get the first term, to get the first term, we can just simply subtract negative 12 by 5. So this will be negative 12 minus 5. This will be negative 17. Always remember this one, because if you have this kind, if you have these two signs, which are the same, so simply copy the sign, then add the numbers. Okay, so this will be negative 17. And negative 17 minus 5 by the common difference. So copy the sign, then add the numbers. So 17 plus 5, that's 22. So negative 22. So always remember this one class because there are some students that they will be confused. They will be confused with this one. So if you have this kind of sign, negative 3 minus 5. So simply copy the sign, then simply add the numbers. 3 plus 5 is 8. That's the answer class. So our first term class is negative 22. So therefore, we can now use this formula since we have n, the number of terms, which is 10. First term is negative 22. And the last term is positive 23. So let's use the formula S sub 10, sum of the first 10 terms. n is the number of terms, 10 divided by 2. Quantity, the first term is negative 22 plus a sub n, the last term is positive 23. So s sub 10 equals 10 divided by 2, that is 5, times negative 22 plus 23. If they don't have the same sign, simply subtract, then copy the sign of the larger number. Alright? So 23 minus 22, that's positive 1. Or 23 minus 22, that's 1. And since 23 is greater than 22, so we copy the sign, which is positive 1. So once again, class, do not forget that one. If they don't have the same sign, subtract then copy the sign of the larger number. So this will be S sub 10 equals 5. 5 times 1 is 5. So the sum class of the first 10 terms, that would be 5. Alright, so I hope you understand this one, class. And we're already done with numbers 1 and 2. So if you have some questions, class, with, with regards to arithmetic series, go ahead. Feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below because we will be answering that one. And I hope you learned something new today. And if you like this video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You share it to your friends class and to your classmates so that we can help more students. Once again, this is Teacher MJ and you have a great day. Bye-bye!